Hello folks, and welcome to the Cup of Fair and Countryside. We just got off the train that is off to the further regions of Zayling. And yep, we are here. That's because we've been tasked to save a 10 million euro farm. So, I'll hop over here because we need to head to the shop where we've got one of our tractors and that. Ready to go, and yeah, we need to deliver some farm supplies. And yep, yeah, welcome to the illustrious countryside. This is a beautiful region in the northwestern region of Slovakia. And yep, yeah, the premises is, yep, yeah, save a 10 million euro farm. Just make sure cross the bridge and that. So yeah, shop is just up north. See, we've got our main farm here to the left. And yeah, we got a lot of fields, but we need to see if we can save this farm in 10 years. Can we earn, and, well, we need to earn over 10 million in 10 years, so let's head to the shop and get things all set up. It's a case farm. We've got all of our supplies of seeds and fertilizer, and I think we've got a couple of little drums of slash additive, so. Yeah, we've got a buckload of items. So yeah, this will do us, I think, at least for the good part of the series and that. But yeah, 10 million euros, dollars, whatever you want to call it, in 10 years. So, we start looking at our finances. Yeah, so, obviously within the limits of FS22, we're only allowed to have a 3 million loan, but... Don't worry about that. That will only go down once we start paying off the loan, so... Yeah, already I'm making fun... Fun friends with the locals by special uh, signs down. So yeah, we've got a third dealership, and a sort of sell every container over there. And as always, everything I'll be using will be down below in the description, so if you want to copy this, or use some of these mods, then... By all means, Feel free to use them, because, yeah, we've got, I'll say, a huge farm to start off with. We've got the upper end of the starting off equipment. And, to be honest, there ain't going to be much upgrade paths to that. In terms of equipment-wise, really, in terms of upgrading, it's more quantity of equipment rather than said quality. But, yeah, let's go... And uh, we'll get these unloaded into the commodity sheds. And then we'll go and inspect the farm. Alright, we're just heading into the farm. So yeah, we do have 100 grand, well, did have 100 grand to start off with. Did have to pay 109 euros to get a train from the capital of Bratislava as we flew in. So yeah, these are all going to go into... Into here, so... That's good, and actually we get some frame rate, frame rate back, so... But yeah, even then again, this is a very tense map for us, so... I'll put you here for now, so you can't go in there. So yeah, this is a casing farm, so... We've got a couple of rollers over here, I think one's a... Yeah, that's a mulcher, and that's a field roller. We do have animals. See, so yeah, I've got another small tractor here, case 8950. With a John Max's spreader. And then, yeah, let's head over here. This is going to be the creme de la crop of our equipment. So, open some of these sheds. So, I think we got three trailers in tow. So, we've got a massive trailer in that. So, we can cart all of our products. And, yeah, we've got one trailer over here. And a second smaller trailer somewhere. Also, we got a massive grain cart. A Demco one. And a tank that can let us do pretty much anything we need on the farm. Because, yeah, we do have animals and we do have greenhouses. I will be using those. And that's the other tree over there. So, yeah, we've got a case, wheel loader. Got. And, yeah, hear what I mean about the turns with equipment? We do have the case like 250. Along with the 1.1 million K Stiger 715 quad track, so. But yeah, I think that is all we got in terms of tractor wise. Three tractors, so. 
It's going to be interesting. Got a forest wagon over there, so when we do silage and that. And then we head over here, we've got our momentum planter over here. Our case, fast riser, or is it easy riser? Fast riser planter over there. And our case tiger mate 255. So yeah, we've got a cow, so yeah, cow feed mix over there, which we're going to need for sure. And then you yeah, head over here and that. This is going to be the rest of our equipment. So we've got a wind rover, tether that, plow. Got two sprayers, so we've got one filled with the fertilizer and one with herbicide. So there we go, herbicide for the Case Patriot 350. And then to wrap it up, so we got a case. Ignore that, it's not a chrome, it's a case. It's a case, it's a case edition chrome collaboration big pack bather with a wind rubber inbuilt. And then, yeah, Pondra Nova Hat EX3D or E8X8ED, whatever it is. So, yeah, a front and rear mower, but that's got an option to link up together as seen. So yeah, turns with animals. So we've got five pigs, technically 51 chickens, and 50 sheep to look after. Uh, yeah, like sheep alone, they need alfalfa and clover to get the maximum efficiency. But for now, I'm happy with grass and hay. I'm not too fussed about that. Pigs gonna need their pig food. Oh, actually, the pigs do need pig food right now. So. We do have a couple of options for that, and I think we do have, of course we've got contracts and that, which we will be doing because that is going to be key to our success. But yeah, let's go into our production tab. So yeah, let's turn all of our greenhouses on. So we've got three large greenhouses. There we go. So yeah, pig, not pig food, healthy mixture. That is a very good quantity. I may get the pig feed version of this. Even though our silo, our green side does have the option for pig feed production. So I'm going to turn that on now and that's going to crack on. But I think what we're going to need to do is grab one of our case tractors and get some pig food bought in. So alright, just going to head down the road and I think it's just here past the shop. Where we do have options to buy products, so I think here we can buy things like manure, slurry, but also here it's going to be our fill point for our animal products. So, so yeah, wheat, oats, pig food, and that, mineral feed, even as well. So, but yeah, we want pig food. How much is, let's say, 10,000 litres because I want to see how much it is so actually you know what it's not too bad so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill this up to the max and then we'll take it back to the farm and feed the little piggies so right we're actually going to go instead and turn on our combine and yeah but do love the 9250 and yeah nope the time has elapsed that's because yeah, I ended up having to troubleshoot a severe king ration issue. Had an experience of it during, you know, testing this and that. Like, when I set up and that, did a little bit of testing. But yeah, so it turned out it was uh, one of the new cases we're using. So I've gone and removed those. So we're using another Steiger by. Uh, what was it? It's the same one in a way by Car Farms and. Custom model, I think it is. But yeah, it's just one that hasn't recently been released, one that had a recent update. But on with that was the Puma, the Case Puma, and that was by Case and or Case Connect. Yeah, I think it was either the Case IH Puma or the Case Magnum Sugar King one by Case IH Brazil and Connect Modding. So yeah, I got more rid of those. I replaced the other large tractor, the other case Puma, whatever it was, with a beast version. So, got that one instead, similar horsepower. But yeah, more things I thought was worth mentioning now, and why there are some links to what I mentioned, or 
too long ago, but anyways, as we're going through the countryside, and again, this is absolutely beautiful. Mr. Hector has done a certain good job of this, so we'll get you unfold. So, yeah, I think we've got crop structure on, so I'll just back this up. Like so. And yeah, then we'll connect our header. Like so. Get it unfolded and turn around. See, so yeah, I just want to make sure short swath is enabled. But yeah, like got enough space to turn around now with the combine, so... See, so yeah, this is the wheat we're harvesting. See, so yeah, I don't think it's going to take us that long to do. And then, yeah, the bells we can put in one of many parts of the main farm by Mr. Hector that, yeah, lets us store the bells in that, like bell and pad storage, so... Yeah, let's go and get this done. And then we'll see where we stand afterwards once we're done here. So, let's get this fills up. So, 10,800 litres. So, let's go and see how much we had in here. So, ooh, actually, I think we're going to actually fill this up to the max. So, that's going to be a little bit problematic. So, especially going down the road when it comes to the yield bonuses and that, because. Obviously, we're using precision farming, so let's get the PDA out. So let's go to here. So, yeah, look at our soil and that. Don't need that. Don't need that information. Our yieldage. So, as we go from, yeah, loam towards the loamy sand, yeah, that gets worse. But thankfully, it's just a little patch here. But yeah, once we get to the salty clay that, that is a better yielding field. Because, yes, we have a look. Sections, so not 60. We're looking at 65, 75%. Little bits of 85% and 90%. Do have little patches of 95% and 70%, so... Yep, 65 to 85% for the most part, so yeah. A little bit left in the combine. Do have 50,000 years. I wonder, where is it to? I think we've got a green mill down here. Yes, we do. How many purchases? Uh, nope. We <laughs> need another 44 grand or so. But yeah, what do we do that? Because 
we actually we've got some contracts available, don't we? So we got yeah, harvesting contracts, oats and canola. And I wonder, can I use that? And yeah, I think we got the. Uh, do I actually have this <laughs> installed? Because we go to our belt system. Yes, we do. The lizard forage pickup, so we can use that. Oh yeah, I don't mind borrowing that, so... Yep, 3,300. Thank you so much. So yeah, then we can get the straw from the fields. From these contracts, and then yeah, we'll simply dump them in, and... Really, we can dump into the fields get bells. Or, to be honest, to make sure these contracts are profitable. I am tempted just to say... You know what? Screw it, we'll just sell it. But yeah, that's going to be interesting, so regardless, let me put this wheat in storage for the time being. However, we do have a small problem, yeah, pretty much every, all of our silos are, yeah, not receivable really with orders and pipes, so, yeah, I'm just going to do this instead, so we'll get this filled up. So yeah, we're emptying, filling and then emptying again, and then filling again. So yeah, we'll get this filled, and yeah, we'll shove this into our complex silo over here. But yeah, this should be nice. Yeah, we don't have, what's that, 1.7 inches of straw? No, we do not have that in there. I'll tell you that for sure, that is part of the, uh, pink, not pink pens, the cow pens and that, so, yeah, let's just ignore that. Anyways, let's go and put this wheat in. So, dry fuel. And get you filled. So, right, actually, yeah, I've got a bit so tracked on what I was going to do, so, yeah, what I got done was just quickly get the oats harvested. So, this is a very yielding field overall, so if I open the map, let the map update. And actually, the best thing to do is actually go into the PDA. So, yeah, yieldage is significantly different. So, yeah, we do have some green texture. So, patches of 95 90% is more prominent. But yeah, we still go down to like 70 and 75%. So, yeah, yieldage ain't the best. And again, I did pull our lorry up here, so... Yeah, this has got like 110,000 in capacity, or... Actually, 120, I think this is. This is one by Mantrix. So, actually, I'm going to reverse this up. I'm going to park you over here for the time being. Put the cover on, of course. And then pipe away. There we go, park up. Close cover, and I do love the animations when it comes to the Demco, so... I'm just gonna let that do its own thing. So yes, make sure that's turned off. We're there, ready for the contract on 34. And yeah, I think... Might as well hop into our other one we had. Yeah, again, the more conflict issues is, uh, it's one of those things where, at the end of the day, I just couldn't be bothered to deal with, so, actually, is this the bigger width version? Because I think I've got a bigger width, I think. I don't think it is, so, bear with me a sec. There we go, and, yeah, I think that's better now, so, actually, it's fun this, I think. Is it going to make a difference? Can we get two swaps in one? I think we can. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yes, we can. Ah, uh, yeah, we all do 247 your bells, so... I want to stick with 220s for now, so... We can get all the bells loaded up in one with this field here. And then, yeah, when we move up to two... No, sorry, 240s. I'll be on field two. Yeah, actually, I forgot to check what's our other crop. So, 
soybean, soybeans, corn, and corn. So, really, I'm thinking this field here that could be used as a maize silage. And yeah, so look at the fertilizing state. So, oh, yeah, can't we on precision farming? So, we're going to need to look at is it pH or nitrogen? I think it's nitrogen, this is so. Yep, 0 to 20 kilograms of fertilizer, so, or of nitrogen, so, yeah, we're really going to need to put some fertilizer down. Thankfully, we do have liquid fertilizer to be used. However, we don't have any surplus supplies of that, so, my thinking is, we're going to need to look into something, maybe at least in a solid fertilizer spreader. If you want to use our vast amount of solid fertilizer one storage that we had when we first started this, so yeah, I don't know to be honest. And yeah, we're gonna be producing a lot of bells for this, so let's finish off the episode here by getting these bells sorted. And then we'll go and collect them and put them away once we are done here. Unfortunately, I forgot to swap to the big bells, and that's and that is a bit of a regret because we have produced 71 bells, so that is lovely to see. So we can do 14 bells with our bell loader here. So that's going to be what? Literally five trips and a sixth trip for one singular bell. So oh, that's lovely as always. By the end of the day, it comes with the territory, so I'm not going to complain too much. So, yep, 71 bells. Uh, what was that? Yep, 8,250 the year, so. Yep, not too bad. What's that? Just shy of. What? 550 or so thousand the year, so doing quick math in my head. Yeah, maybe more, maybe less, I'm not sure. But yeah, that's one thing in the series as well, is like, things like all the autosome stuff you become very accustomed to in FS3 2. At least for the time being, they're not going to roll out like I've done with Ravenport. I will keep it off for the time being, I ain't going to swear it off entirely. Because, that's the thing. Honestly, I don't know, like, remember, we need to earn 10 million euros in 10 years and with this 10 grand a month 120 grand a year in our 10 year what was it the challenge that is 1.2 million we're forecast to lose in the interest of them so every penny counts and that's why things like oh let's just sell now and that get uh, what's it the green bill I need to think about this because honestly, I don't know. Should we go with the green wheel straight away? Yeah, comment down below. Feel free to let me know what you think. I think 
the green mill's gonna be worth it though. Okay, I may have been misspecial here on that. But yeah, I do think it's gonna be worth it. Alright, got our first load back out of the farm. And I'm gonna load it into the Bell facility. What I'm gonna do instead is take a risky gamble. Because yeah, I do know what the animal feed situation is gonna be. We've got a little bit of field for grass and that, so get hay from that. We're gonna get a lot of size from the chaff on field nine. Field one, that's corn I'm gonna harvest and keep mainly for the pig feed production. So yeah, that is the first load of the bells going in. Boop boop boop. Boop boop. And so yeah, let's get these final loads in. So overall that is what? 116,000 litres or so. Well let's say five loads, so five hundred and fifty Yeah, five hundred actually four wild gas wasn't that far off, so I think that's where we'll leave it for today. So let's fold that back up. So yeah, in between episodes, I'll get your spells to load up. I'll put them into the silo. And yeah, do we gamble on the grain mill? So we need, what, another 40 grand or so? But again, there's ways we can get to that grand, 40 grand mark, so... Things like doing quite a bit of silage and that. If we get done this month, then it's done, and then, yeah. Just process from there and sell it cheap and early. Who knows? But anyways, that's what we're leaving today. And as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash the button. Feel free to down below. If you want to share some, please be a guest. If you're not subscribing, please consider. But for you to do, hope you're nice day. But for now, it's been from Epic Stream. And I'll see you all very soon.